Hello friends, I am Professor Swanan Logre and in this video we will study the current flow in BJT and the different current relations in BJT. So to understand the current flow in BJT, first con consider the common base configuration of BJT. And here I draw on the schematic of uh, NPN transistor and it is connected in common base configuration. So as it is common base configuration, emitter is the input terminal, base is common, collector is the output. With the help of these two supply, base emitter junction is forward bias, collector base junction is reverse bias. So what happens in this configuration, we know that in transistor, emitter is heavily doped, collector is lightly doped as compared to emitter, not equal to emitter but it is somewhat less extent and base is the lightly doped region. So if you consider if there are 100 impurities, for an example, if there are 100 impurities in emitter region, there will be near about say 95 to 99 impurities in collector region and remaining impurities comparatively, I am saying comparative, right? So the remitting impurities, say this uh, 1 to 5 impurities will be in this base region. So that is why emitter is heavily doped, base is the lightly doped region and collector, its doping level is nearly equal to emitter but not exactly, it is somewhat less. So to understand the current flow in BJT, let us consider this common base configuration. In this common base configuration, it is NPN transistor and common base configuration. What will happen when you give the biasing supply? The electrons which are present in this emitter region and these are the majority charge carriers, these electrons will be attracted towards the positive polarity of supply and they will be repelled by this negative polarity. So this will be the direction of electrons. So electrons will be moved towards right side and they will cross this emitter base junction. Let us consider say 100 electrons are crossing this emitter base junction. Out of this 100 electrons, say 2 electrons, they are combining with the holes in the base region and remaining 98 electrons, they will cross this collector junction, right? This electron crossing, they will form, the constitute, they will constitute a current. So, if there are 100 electrons moving from emitter to the base region, they will form the emitter current. Out of these 100 electrons, if 2 electrons, they are recombining with the holes and the P region that is base region they will form the base current and remaining current will be the collector current which will be formed due to the crossing of electrons uh, uh, due to the ba at base collector junction. So what is ultimate conclusion here the emitter current it is always equal to collector current plus base current in any transistor whether this is NPN transistor or PNP transistor and this emitter current is always equal to the base current plus collector current. So the emitter current is the highest current, base current is the smallest current and the collector current it is nearly equal to the emitter current but not exactly equal to it will be somewhat less than that of the uh, emitter current. We know that the conventional current it is always a in opposite direction to the flow of electrons. Here I shown the flow of electrons towards right side. So that is why direction of conventional emitter current it will be in opposite direction that is in towards left side. Hence that is why here the emitter current it will be in this side right. Hence in the symbol of NPN transistor we show the outward arrow it indicates that the emitter current flows out of the emitter terminal in in the NPN transistor and here the emitter current it will be the addition of base current and collector current if you apply here the pitch ups current law as emitter current is moving in left side right so that is why the base current and the collector current they will combine to form the uh, emitter current so this is how the there is current flow in BJT. Thank you.